So today I am going away from Bengal for a bit, going to the neighboring state of Bihar and making their famous Ahuna mutton. So I've got all my ingredients here. Now let's get started. So I'm going to add, I've got 600 grams of meat here, which is freshly cut. And I've got 600 grams of onion here, which I'm going to mix. This is the toughest job of this recipe to cut the onions. And I used a chopper to chop them finely. You can slice the onions as well, but I have noticed that when you chop the onions, the gravy is much better. Now I'm going to add all the spices onto it. So all the spices go in and now we start mixing it again. Now I like to take my time and mix all the mutton pieces thoroughly with the onion and spices. That way the flavors of all the spices and onions seep into the mutton very well. Now we'll add the garlic, ginger and green chili. The green chilies are the only things which is going to give some heat into the dish. I have not added any hot red chilli in this dish. There is only Kashmiri red chilli powder. Now again, thoroughly mix it. Now while the mixing is happening, let me tell you why I have these four potatoes here. Of course, these garlic pods are washed and cleaned and they will all go into the mutton in some time and then again thoroughly mixed. Now these potatoes will go directly onto the Coal. I am trying to make bhuna uh, potatoes. Uh, see, the bongness in me have to have some sort of potato dish along with my mutton. And over here, as you can see, like we are not going to add any water, but all the 600 grams of onion is going to give out its own water, and that is where the mutton cooks. So it's a beautiful dish. Now you can add the garlic and the green chilli as well. I've just slit the green chillies. The garlic when it cooks down tastes so good. Now I've got this biryani bali handi. You have seen us unbox biryani by kilo uh, biryanis and this is one of those handis. I have thoroughly washed it, cleaned it and if you don't know how to clean this handi Please refer to the video where I tell you in details how to clean a handi properly. Alright, so with that, let's put some oil onto the handi. This is some mustard oil which I have heated and then move around the handi so that everything gets coated. Look at that, it's beautifully covered and you have to continuously keep moving it around. And I will add a little bit of oil from the handi onto this. Just that's it. Most of the oil remains in the bottom, like so. Another mixing. Mix your button pieces as much as possible because what happens is uh, it really helps tenderize the meat as well. It is going to take an hour for us to cook the meat on the fire on coal but still we are making sure mixing it well so that all the flavors go in deep now one after another i'm gonna start putting in the pieces see there's a lot of oil there this oil is going to help the mutton not burn This is such a you know trend today. I saw a lot of recipes today using whole garlic, uh, but ahuna mutton, the Champaran style mutton, is where we got the idea from. Now with the mutton all set in, I'm gonna add the onion. The onion is going to steam, give off its water. Beautifully mixed in. Look at that. Now I've got this 
dough already made into a log now we have to put dum onto it with the so just like that we're gonna drape this dough all around the opening mm, that's why you know? you have to start with a very sticky dough so that it covers up very well uh, we have sealed it all so using atta is very important because what happens is it will slowly the moment there is water uh, which was which will be released by mutton and onion it will slowly make a place for the steam to escape which is very important right so this is the process which i use there you will see while we are cooking it there will be a small hole which will be made naturally to let off the steam so that everything cooks down beautifully and my house smells wonderful the coal burning so well i've just kept something on top of it so that there is a little bit of space is there a little bit of space and i've also skewered all the potatoes now i'm going to just keep it like so and just because i have a cover i have covered it for the next 10 minutes i'm just going to keep it like that and then i'm going to come and move it around a little bit i'll show you what i do Now once again we have removed the coal we're going to cover it now protection is important we'll wear some gloves and give it a stir like so put it again back into it given it a good stir another 20 25 minutes let's look at the potatoes also over here i can see some color developing however i need to place it now like that so i'm going to do it and show you how right now i've just kept all the potatoes up there giving it a cover once again bye bye for 20 more minutes my potatoes are done look at that looking so good and here we have our mutton hopefully it's done so let's unravel it smell is amazing oh look at that the knife beautifully cuts through you can take the help of that knife itself just push it as a lever yeah that's great yeah baby yes What do you think guys is it cooked through it eh, the smell is so awesome mm. Look who came Hello Just because he smelt this thing this lovely thing <sighs> Yes that means it's perfectly cooked through Guys, the smell right now is amazing. Oh, check that out! Because of the chopping of the onion, I think you know the the texture of the gravy is very good. Yeah, it smells so good, Ansh. Ansh, what do you think? Mm. No. That's so good. You know what I did? I kind of heated all my already cooked rotis onto that stove which had koila. Oh, it's that cool. Do you see the beauty? Look at 
of that aloo perfectly cooked through jala hua aloo the roshun ready for the taste tester who is like really waiting dau 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 okay dau <laughs> smells good what do you think anj see what do you think it smells good it's very soft five star it smells five star Oh my god chef's kiss really and it was so good Do you have another another one Yeah please patiently waiting for daddy to make and that oh. is oh he got that oh how easily it came out It's beautifully cooked through So how much time did it take One and a half hours of cooking. It took us one and a half hours of cooking. I don't think it's gonna take so much of time for us to eat. And just already like almost yeah yeah one and a half hours ah. Huh? But he's almost there. Oh and of course. Wow. Very nice. Very nice it is. Amazing. So it's it's Thank my you. time to eat. See ya next time. Cheers. Cheers.